Hello everyone, this is Sinduja Krishna and this course is about the complete design of sewage treatment plant. So before we begin, let me just give you an idea of what we are actually going to see. First we will see what is a STP, the definition of STP. Next we will be seeing the pre-treatment process and the unit operations involved. Next, we will see the design of the primary treatment system, followed by the secondary treatment system. Then we will see the tertiary treatment system. Then we will see how the sludge generated in the secondary treatment system is treated. Finally, I would explain the design of the STP with the help of a case study. Sewage mainly constitutes of suspended solids and BOD. The pH is little acidic in the range 5.5 to 6.5. The suspended solids are of the concentration 250 ppm at the inlet. The expected concentration at the outlet should be less than 10 ppm. So what is BOD? BOD is nothing but biological oxygen demand. The amount of oxygen required by the microorganisms to destroy the biodegradable organics that is known as BOD. This is around 200 to 250 ppm in the inlet. At the outlet, it should be less than 20 ppm. Sewage also constitutes very large particles like wood particles, plastic particles, etc. These are initially screened off. Then this enters the secondary system, treatment system, wherein your BOD is removed. Then this continues to your clarifier where the sludge settles down and the clarified water is pumped to your tertiary treatment system wherein the fine suspended particles are removed. The combination of preliminary, primary, secondary and tertiary treatment system in order to treat sewage so that it can be reused for other applications. Let me throw more light on the sewage treatment plant with the help of this process flow diagram. As you can see here, first sewage constitutes pH which is little, I mean the pH is going to be little acidic. Then it constitutes suspended solids and then it constitutes BOD and COD. In the pre-treatment stage, the wood particles, glass particles, plastic particles are screened off via a bar screen. Then it moves to the primary treatment system. Here the flow is equalized and odor is removed by providing aeration in the equalization tank. Then it moves to the secondary treatment system. Here the BOD is removed by various technologies like activated sludge process or ASP, moving bed bioreactor MBBR, membrane bioreactor MBR, sequential batch reactor SBR. But in this course we are just going to concentrate on ASP and MBBR. After the BOD is removed, it moves to the clarifier wherein the sludge settles down and the clarified water is pumped to the tertiary system. The tertiary treatment system constitutes of the pressure sand filter which filters the fine suspended solids and the activated carbon by the process of adsorption removes the odor.